Life-saving new technology rolled out in three central Queensland hospitals has allowed specialists to successfully complete neurosurgery via telehealth. It's hoped the equipment, which allows surgeons to dial in remotely to complex operations, will be a game-changer for regional health care. The Rockhampton Hospital's Deputy Director of Surgery, Michael Lamparelli, has been pushing for the technology and facilitated the first life-saving surgery. An excellent neurosurgeon called Craig Winter in uh, the Royal Brisbane has been teaching lots of us around regional Queensland how to do emergency brain surgery. Just two of us uh, from Rockhampton have been down. Uh, and he rang both my colleague and myself who'd been on that course to find that neither of us were local and available. Uh, Chris had had a hard day at the office uh, and I was in Brisbane at a party when I got this call. Um, there I was wondering what to do. He told me there was a, a gentleman down in the emergency department who wouldn't survive the transfer down to Brisbane, which would take several hours. Uh, so he asked if I could get in there. Um, I was aware of this device that we'd purchased uh, sitting in the corner and not actually commissioned yet, and said, hang on, um, I've got a very strong-willed young female surgeon on call. I know she's up for it. Um, I'll give her a call. And I put the two of them in contact with each other and then went about trying to get that device into the theatre and dial in. So you were facilitating a connection between a neurosurgeon in Brisbane and the surgeon who was on call with the patient who was then able to perform this operation that she'd never done before. Talk us through this equipment. I mean, what exactly does it consist of? I imagine it's a bit more advanced than a Zoom call. Well, it's, it's a boom cart that has a 4K camera that uh, you can manipulate. Um, you, you set the system up so it's pointing roughly in the right direction and then remotely you can control the focus, the zoom, the pan of angle and get it in the right place. So um, I was actually controlling the camera and then sharing that screen to Craig uh, who was sitting at a laptop uh, elsewhere in Brisbane. I could see him there and he could then communicate through the device uh, to the surgeons to advise them uh, how they were going. Um, he was very good. He had a quick phone call to Leanne. Uh, he explained roughly what she was going to do. Uh, and Leanne called in Ruth, who's uh, one of our orthopaedic surgeons, also on call. Uh, and the, the two of them then set up this case. And, and you say that this patient, you know, wouldn't have, have survived a transfer to Brisbane. Is the idea that this would only be used in those real emergency situations that were potentially life or death? Well, I, I think it's, uh, for a place like ours where we have uh, two peripheral hospitals with uh, general practitioners who are surgically trained um, and they get stretched. It's uh, the ability for us to support them. Um, we have uh, GP obstetricians who also find things they don't see very often. Uh, and uh, my obstetric colleagues from the, the centre can call to them and they can have support for this as well. Uh, and we're using it as a, a training tool for uh, GP registrars and, and our own registrars if they're away from uh, the centre to do things. So it's not just for emergencies, it's for all sorts of things. And how were you able to get your hands on this piece of equipment? Um, well, I originally saw uh, a version of this equipment some three years ago at a meeting. I was approached by somebody who um, knew my partner who had uh, been in similar industries in the past and, and asked whether we'd take it on and saw Central Queensland as an excellent test bed for it. Um, it took quite some time. We didn't have the financial support from the hospital at the time, so we went out to our local charity, CQ Shines, uh, and they agreed it was a great thing to support. Um, we travelled around showcasing to local industries in Gladstone and Emerald and in Rockhampton, uh, trying to put the word out there, and then raising money with uh, evening balls and so on, uh, and the donations of patients and other members of uh, the community into CQ Shines to support it. And how expensive are they? Is it feasible that other hospitals could potentially fundraise for their own? Or do you think this is something that if it was to be rolled out should be uh, government funded? Um, I'm not sure if we got the best deal because we're first off. In, it's, it's priced at um, uh, an amount that is, is, should be supported if you can prove that it's going to work. And I guess uh, we're, we need to show that for people um, and, and show that it makes a difference. Uh, it's difficult to put a cost on a life, isn't it? But um, I'm sure it was worth it just for this one.